Hello, my beloved students. You're welcome back to our practical section today. In this practical, we are going to be determining the mass of a meter room using the principle of moments. And to do that, we would be needing a knife edge, which you can see here, a one meter room, and just a hundred gram mass and then a loop of wire to successfully hang in the 100 gram mass on the meter room. And the procedure is pretty simple. We are simply going to, first of all, deduce the center of gravity of the meter room on the knife edge and record that. And then we will now begin by hanging our 100 gram mass from a given point, 2.5 cm from the end of the meter room and then we will deduce the new balance point and record the distance between the new balance point and the place where the 100 gram mass is being hung. And we'll repeat that experiment for six times and then we'll tabulate our readings and I'll show you the theory behind the experiment and then we'll determine the mass of the meter room. So first, we are going to be finding out what is the center of gravity of the meter room. And by doing that, we need to balance the meter room on the knife edge given. So here, having successfully balanced the meter room on the knife edge, my center of gravity or the balance point on the, on the knife edge is 49.80, as you can see here. So here is the other end, the zero point of the meter room, and then here is the 100 cm point of the meter room. Now, this is a one meter room, and being a uniform meter room, the all expectations should be that the center of gravity should be at 50, being that it is uniform. However, that is not always the case because of the concentration of mass along the meter room can differ. So my center of gravity is 49.8, and I'm going to record that so that I can use it during my theory. So the first procedure would be now to hang in the 100 gram mass at the 2.5 point along the meter room and then I would find the new balance point for the meter room. So here is the mass firmly hung at the 2.5 cm mark and then here is the meter room horizontally balanced and then we have here the new balance point. The new balance point is approximately at 32 there. You can see it's 32. So I am going to find the distance between the new balance point and the point where the 100 gram mass is being hung. So I'm just going to subtract from here 32 minus 2.5, and that will give me 29.5. And I'm going to call this distance x. While the distance from zero here to the point where the 100 gram mass is being hung can be called M. So take note of these two, here to here, X, and then from here to here, M. And I'm going to tabulate my reading accordingly. Now next is that I'm going to move this mass to the 5 cm point and also find these two distances, record them, and we'll continue. So you can see here, the mass hung at the 5 cm point, and then our new balance point it's approximately at 33. I'm going to use the 33 mark there, 33. So it means that the distance, distance x between 33 and the point where the mass is hung will be 28. That is 33 minus 5. That will give us 28. So I'll record that and then move the mass to the 10 cm mark for the next reading. So the next year, I have the mass hung at 10 cm point, and then I have my balance point from there as approximately 35, as you can see here. So here is approximately 35. Now, I'm going to find the distance between them. So that is just to calculate 35 minus 10, and that would give me 25. I'll record that as the distance between the new balance point and the mass. So I'll move the mass again from 10 to 20 and I'll find the new balance point as well. Here is the mass hung at the 20 cm point of the meter room from the zero end and then 
our new balance point as a, as a result of that is at point 38.7 so i'm also going to proceed to get the the distance between them and that would give me 18.7 and i'll record that i'm going to repeat that also for 30 cm and 40 cm still so here is it at 30 cm and then the balance point quickly is at point 42.5 approximately you can see there so i'm also going to find the distance between so i'm also going to find the distance between them and that will give me 12.5 you can see the other end as well so here is it at 40 cm and you can see the balance point at point 46 so it means that my difference is just 6 cm so this is the end of the experiment i'm going to tabulate my reading and then i'll show you um how my graph will look like because i'm going to be plotting a graph of m against x so having compiled our table this is uh, how the result is like you can see all the values of m and all the values of s compiled on the table and with that i'm going to be plotting a graph of m on the vertical axis against x on the horizontal axis and here is how the graph is like you can see that our graph is a straight line graph also deducing the slope from the graph i have my my slope value to be equal to 1.59 so from the principle of moments which states that if a body is in equilibrium then the sum of the clockwise turning moments acting upon it about any point is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise turning moments about the same point now if i try to walk around this particular principle i'm going to have that 100 times x is equal to p times bracket open c minus m plus x that is from the drawing you can see it there you can take that from the drawing now if i try to resolve all of this and make m the subject formula i'm going to get m is equal to c minus x times the ratio of 100 plus p over p this is because i plotted m on the vertical axis and i'm trying to convert it in the form of the equation of a graph which is y is equal to mx plus c or if you want to write it as y is equal to c plus mx now with this i can do the comparison for slope since i've gotten my value of slope to be 1.59 this formula i just derived now the slope is equivalent to 100 plus p over p so i'll just have to equate to find my p which is the mass of the meter rule so equating the slope to be equal to 100 plus p over p and finding p and making p subject of the formula i'd get that p is equal to 169.5 grams now that's this is from the gram i'm now going to use a chemical balance to weigh the same meter rule i used during this experiment and see the value i am going to get as the mass of the meter rule then i'll compare it from what i've gotten from this graph so I have with me here the electronic balance, as you can see here, at 0, 0.0 gram. And then the meter rule here, which I used during my experiment, you can see from 0 to 100, and this is the under part of it here. So I'm going to simply drop this on the, on the electronic balance and find out what the mass will be. So if you look at it very well, you will see that the mass is 168.8 so let's do the comparison so you can see 168.8 so let us compare it with what we got from the graph so you can see that our values are almost identical 168.8 as against 169.5 so that tells you that my graph was actually almost accurate okay so the precautions i took in this experiment was that i avoided draft during the experiment by offing the fans and closing the windows in order not to affect the balance of my meter room 
I also avoided parallax error in reading the meter rule during the experiment and then I ensured that the meter rule was well balanced horizontally before taking my readings. Now, from my graph, the value of m for which x is equal to 0 is 49.0 and this value coincides with the center of gravity of the meter rule. So I believe that this um, experiment has really been of help to you. So please always do well to click the subscribe button and always like and share. Thank you very much. Until next time, stay tuned.